All right, guys, I am back with an update. In one of my other videos, I mentioned that I ran into another problem installing these aftermarket rocker arms, and the valve cover was hitting on top of the pedestals over here, not allowing the stock valve cover to fit, or you know, it's touching the actual pedestals on here. Now, there's two problems that we're dealing with here, and this is a common knowledge of many uh, people who have center bolt valve covers. Here's an example of what it looks like inside. You have these inner ribbing braces that the, the center bolt goes through. But, but the main problem with that is that if you take this off, there's not enough clearance in between the rocker arm since it has a bigger trunnion in here to fit the valve cover. So the valve cover will butt up against it and you can't get it on there. So the first solution, it's an easy solution. You take a pair of tin snips or anything like that. You basically cut out the support structure for the, uh, the center bolt. But me personally, I like to take the whole unit out so this doesn't vibrate or break loose or anything along those lines. But that's strictly up to you. But this is a common knowledge where you take out this side over here. So say if this is the, the head, you flip it over and it's this side over here. But I just take the whole, the whole piece right out. Now some are gonna say, oh, that's gonna leak and all that kind of stuff. And then you're gonna bend the valve cover and you, you just have to be conscious of how much torque you apply to the valve cover. That's it, that's all it is. All right, so that was the first problem that we had. The second problem is after we cut this, you know, over here and like that, the pedestal sits us a little bit too high where the rock arm is gonna hit. It's not gonna fully seat. See, so it's actually hitting those, these pedestals right here. Well got a solution for you and this is probably gonna work on 99.99 percent of these type of rocker arms our buddies from rock auto came through and I found the gasket that will fit this now you say gasket let me put the part number here 1648 Felt Pro gasket 1648 they're kind of hard to find but they're very unique let me explain this is your stock OEM rubber gasket that goes into here. You can see it's about, I don't know, I'm not sure what the thickness is on there. But now, look at this bad boy. Look at the difference. It's like having two gaskets in one. But what's, it is a cork gasket, but what's extremely unique about this, and the turbo guys and the blower guys use these things forever, they have a steel inner core in here to prevent the gasket from blowing out but it also adds a quarter of an inch of height to your valve cover so let's see if we can get a clip of that see how it comes up over the ridge here and let's go to the stock gasket This is a super simple solution. Instead of buying pricey aftermarket valve covers, and you see how thin, let's see if that the camera, how thin that is. Now we're gonna silicone this, and this is just all test fit. I'm all, I'm just pre-test fitting everything here. Boom, look at that. It sits beautifully. And it's not going to interfere with the F body alternator because it just brings the valve cover just a tiny bit up just to get that extra clearance and look. Now the rocker arm with the tin snipped over here and also the added clearance of the thicker gasket. Again, remember this is going to be glued in so this, this is kind of clumsy right now as I'm showing you this. Boom. Simple solution. 
Okay, and then also you guys are probably saying, okay, well, you, if you take out the brace right here, let's just see if this I can rip it out here. Now, if you take this out of here and just use a factory bolt here, this is going to leak around the washer. Nine times out of ten, it doesn't leak. You just put a dab of silicone between the washer around here, stick it in, gently torque the valve cover down. Or if you want to go to the extreme, you go to Home Depot, they sell the washers with the, the rubber insert on there. And or you can put a bigger washer around here and then silicone that washer and put it up there. I've done this a million times. They, they don't leak at all if you don't over torque them. Put a dab of silicone, they're just fine. Very simple, effective solution. Have a nice day.